to one of our main stories of the day. More mixed messages on North Korea at the very top level of the Trump administration. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis now says Washington is looking into ways to open talks with Pyongyang, with President Trump tweeting earlier this week that such efforts would be a, quote, waste of time. It seems they aren't seeing eye to eye on the best approach. Guan Zhang reports. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis has reaffirmed the U.S. is working towards talks with North Korea. He came to the defense of Secretary of State Rex Tillerson at a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing on Tuesday, explaining that President Trump and his top diplomat were on the same page and looking for a diplomatic solution. I believe that Secretary Tillerson uh, is accurately stating that we are probing for opportunities to talk uh, with the North. All we're doing is probing. We're not talking with them. Uh, at the same time, the president, uh, I think, has a responsibility to ensure that we go into this with our eyes wide open. He added that President Trump had guided Tillerson and himself to pursue diplomatic efforts, including initiatives with China, and that Tillerson's trip to Beijing last week showed that integrated effort. It was during this trip that Tillerson made the comments that sparked this current controversy. He said the U.S. was in direct communication with North Korea, the first omission of its kind for the Trump administration, but that so far Pyongyang had shown no interest in talks. A day later, President Trump tweeted that Tillerson was wasting his time trying to negotiate with the rocket man, the moniker Trump had given North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. He also pointed out that being nice hadn't worked for 25 years during three administrations. The White House also stressed on Monday that they had no talks with Pyongyang over its nuclear program, but that the only conversations to have taken place are on bringing back American detainees. It's not the first time the White House and State Department have made conflicting statements, and Mattis said that he does not see the divergence as strongly as some have interpreted. But there does seem to be a divergence nonetheless. Meanwhile, North Korea has condemned Washington's move last month to impose its own unilateral sanctions on top of the recent UN ones. In a statement released on state media, Pyongyang called it a heinous criminal act and pledged to make the US pay with its own miserable extinction. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.